two um, youngins, should I say, and siblings, and they have a rare kidney disease, and it starts with the little girl. Her name is Lofton. She's 10 years old. She's been going to the hospital since she was three to get these IV infusions, and one time when she was getting her IV infusion, she noticed another little girl there getting chemo or an IV, and she was with her babysitter. She wasn't with her family, and then I started thinking, I know of parents who have had to work and they couldn't be with their babies in the NICU or whatever the case may be. It's such a privilege to be able to take your child to the hospital, which sounds horrible, but no, there's but a blessing in there that you, if you are able to do that. Right. But this little girl um, was essentially by herself. Mm. So oh Lofton gosh. thought, you know what, maybe she would feel a little bit better if she had a teddy bear to hold while she was getting her infusion. So this idea was born. Her and her brother and her mom contacted Build a Bear. They donated the first 500 bears for free. Wow. Yes, and they since then have borne this charity called KB Bears and what they do is they gather the bears and they give them to the kids uh, undergoing treatment. You know, she said she's made friends with the doctors and the nurses there since she's had to be in the hospital, unfortunately, so often, but she feels like giving back in this way is a little something she can do at just 10 years old, giving um, a literal hug to all the kids. I love that. Isn't that sweet? So, so sweet. Mm -hmm. and, and I love when companies step up and you know, and decide to support in, in a small way. Yeah, yeah, let's hear from this little sweetheart herself. Whenever I'm in the hospital, I always like have my stuffed animals with me. I'm just super proud of these guys. They took a situation um, of going through their own kind of challenges and um, they've decided to make something really amazing out of it and give back, so I'm super proud. The mom was quoted a few times in the article just saying what she said there, but in a larger scope, how they saw things bigger than themselves, that this was a situation that wasn't just about her and her daughter and her son, but about so many other boys and girls. So oh, I know, isn't that sweet? That's, that's a huge perspective to have it right. at, at, for the child at such a young age uh, to know that you, know, you want to really make an impact and a difference where you can outside of yourself and your own situation. Right. And it's, it's so self like it, that's what all these stories are about, but it always amazes me that it's people who are going through the worst of times and instead of feeling sorry for themselves, which is so easy to do, right. that they say, you know what, I'm, I'm going to make sure people know that they're not alone. Right, and all the parents in those situations, because a lot of times the kids will say something, and as a parent, I'm sure you're worried about your own child's health and their yeah. sickness, and so to take that idea and actually run with it and make their thought and their dream a reality also is so like that the parents wow i mean just I taking on so much it's really really something I love that.